Hello everyone, Art Turner of Data Productions Media, where dreams are tangible aspirations. Now for about over a year, my step-by-step -step guide on how to upgrade your mid-2012 MacBook Pro has done really well with uh, views and helping other people, you know, save money on just updating their old laptop they have with new upgrades inside. Now, I would say 98% of the people who have viewed my video have done it successfully with just taking my steps on all the different videos I have in my playlist. Um, about 95% of the people who have, who have went through the process have had no problems with upgrading their MacBook Pro at all. Now, for that other 2%, they have had issues when it comes to trying to update your laptop with the Catalina software on it. Now, I did not have to do the Catalina software update on my MacBook Pro. Um, and I'm going to be honest, I don't necessarily know how to do it myself. I just have stayed away from it. But I do want to get into the comment section on my video where a gentleman figured out a way to do it with Catalina. Now, again, this is not an official video on how to specifically do it down to the wire. You're probably just going to have to fiddle with your laptop to see what works for you. But I'm just going to go through the comment section and just, you know, spark, you know, the ideas of what you could possibly do to help fix your problem if you do have a Catalina problem. So now let's just get into my comment section and you may find this valuable. You may not. But I just want to get this out there so people can at least see there is an option for you, okay? So the gentleman, Brett Wyrick, did some steps on how to update your laptop with Catalina. Um, again, I will preface that he did backtrack and say that those steps didn't necessarily pan out how you first initially saw it. But there's a couple other people in the comment section that, you know, worked through the problem and it worked for them. So I'm just going to give you that information. Again, don't quote me on this. I am not saying it will work for you. I'm just giving you the opportunity to see some information that it might help if you have this problem. So Brett Wyrick says, PSA for Catalina users. If you have Catalina as your Mac operating system, you must go through Mac recovery mode and util utilize disk utility. You cannot simply boot up and open disk utility. If you don't go through recovery, disk utility will simply show a blank value when you try to utilize the restore function, restore from blank. I was unable to find a tutorial for this online. Below are the steps I did to complete this on my mid-2012 MacBook. Catalina OS HD to SSD steps. 1. Boot to recovery. Restart MacBook. Hold Command plus R until you see Apple logo. 2. Open Disk Utility. 3. From there, you'll click on Macintosh HD data, not Macintosh HD, and then mount. If your drive is encrypted, you'll be prompted to type the password here. 4. Then click your new SSD, erase it to match your Macintosh HD data, type Mine was ADFS encrypted. Five, now click on restore and select Macintosh HD data, not Macintosh HD. Six, replicating seven profit. Again, as you see here, I thanked him for the help because I am not aware of this. I didn't have this Catalina operating system issue. But he then, Brett goes on to say, additional PSA. I was unable to get this to replicate properly using my own steps above. Insert face palm emoji. It happens. I ended up just doing a fresh install, then bringing over my files manually. 
Not sure what went wrong, but I got stuck about 95% done on replicating. Step for hours. Eventually, I gave up, formatted, and installed. Works great now. Well, at least Brett figured it out for himself. Then Amory's Slomers comes to Brett Wyatt. Hi, if I go through these steps, how should I transfer my files over manually? If I choose the Mac HD data, will it also transfer to the operating system if successful? Thanks. Then another person, Mallory, Brett, I've gone round and round with this upgrade to SSD in my MacBook 2012 Pro. I am convinced the problem is Catalina. Can you give me more details on how to get around this problem? I am computer illiterate. It happens to the best of us. I don't even have the best computer savvy. I just know how to do you know certain things. So Brett responds, don't follow these steps. You'd be best off utilizing some sort of hard drive USB port accessory and basically using it as a flash drive to drag and drop items from the old hard drive over to the new one. Does that answer your question? In my videos, I do go over the attachment you need for the USB. It's the SATA cable. So just get that. And then Brett, Brett responds again. Sorry to hear, hear you're having trouble. I removed my old hard drive from my 2012 MacBook Pro, inserted my new SSD, and then did a fresh install of Catalina by booting into recovery without my old hard drive in. Afterwards, I just manually brought my files over from my old H HDD and used a HDD to USB adapter I purchased on Amazon. Again, I go over that in my other videos. And then Anna responds, Brett, thanks for the insight. I did the Catalina upgrade a couple days ago and changed my old drive to an SSD today. I was unable to choose the drive I wanted to restore, and that's when I saw your comment. Did all the same steps stated in the video, but proceeded directly through the recovery mode like you suggested. Everything worked out great. I imagine because we need to unmount the drives virtually through the recovery mode, Apple removed the scrolling menu in the restore from disk options to accelerate the process. Basically, removing step five. So, guys, as you can see, people are in the comment section trying to help each other out, and that's great. I, I'm, you know, I'm all here for it. I just want to make sure this information in the comment section gets out a little bit more to everybody, but it's here so if you want to find that information about the Cat catalina stuff just go to the how to copy data from hhd to ssd for macbook pro mid 2012 and 2019 without software um so just go to this video right here in my playlist and then you'll find this information i also put it in the step-by-step -step upgrade as well to help people out that need this help but uh this is a little video for you guys hopefully you found value out of it again this is about for two percent of the people who have had trouble but for the not other 98 percent you should just go through my videos and you'll be 100 percent okay please give me a like please give me a subscribe if you have any comments or questions just let me know and i'll get back to you um and like i always say scheme your dreams